Hi everyone, welcome back to Zion, where we share insights on the latest on hair health and science. I'm Dr. Christina Hahn, board certified dermatologist and medical director at Zion. And today we're gonna dive into a topic that many of you have been curious about. What happens when you stop finasteride and the potential for long-term side effects? If you've ever wondered about finasteride, male pattern baldness, as well as sexual side effects, you're in the right place, let's discuss. The importance of consistency. As you know, treating male pattern hair loss requires commitment. Finasteride, a common medication used in this journey, often needs to be taken indefinitely in order to promote hair regrowth. The reason why this is important is because of the regulation in DHT levels. This medication works by blocking the production of DHT and this effect only really works when you take the medication. The DHT effect. The levels of DHT will slowly begin to rise and return likely back to your pre-treatment levels. In very rare cases, DHT levels can remain suppressed despite discontinuation of finasteride. And this can be a cause of concern for some men as a result of potential long-term side effects. The waiting game. How long after stopping finasteride will my hair start to fall out? Well, the process is different for everybody and the timeline can also vary. As DHT levels start to rise, the hairs that were once maintained by finasteride will likely start the process of follicular miniaturization. This is a process dictated by genetics and for some people, this change can happen over a matter of weeks. This is why it's so important to continue your medications and to not stop or lower the dose until you consult with your physician. Safety matters. Is finasteride safe for the long haul? It certainly appears that finasteride appears to be safe for the treatment of male pattern hair loss. In fact, multiple studies over several years have demonstrated that finasteride causes stabilization of those hair follicles without much serious adverse events. Addressing concerns. There have been rare case reports of men experiencing persistent side effects, particularly sexual dysfunction, despite stopping their finasteride. Although this is quite uncommon, it's important to reach out to your doctor to address these concerns and delineate a cause. Your doctor may even suggest changing your formulation to something like topical finasteride or topical dutasteride or exploring other treatment options. At Zion, we offer technology that helps to improve our patients' lives by offering treatment solutions in Siloxa system gel. Multiple studies have actually been done looking at efficacy as well as the reduction in potential side effects and hence why the dosing has been utilized in these formulations to offer you the best chance of results. The decision is yours. Choosing whether to continue on finasteride is ultimately your choice, especially when dealing with male pattern hair loss, which is a chronic and progressive condition. Finasteride is a good and common choice chosen by many men, but we do acknowledge that side effects can still rarely occur. It's your journey and we encourage you to talk to your doctor to look at treatment options and whether finasteride is a good option for you. Finasteride is a powerful treatment in the fight against male pattern hair loss, but commitment is key. Always follow your doctor's instructions and if you're considering stopping, have that important conversation with your healthcare professional. We hope this video shed some light for you on the use of finasteride, potential side effects, as well as male pattern baldness. If you found this helpful, give us a thumbs up, comment and like, and hit subscribe so that you can follow us on zionhealth.com for more health tips about your hair. Until next time, take care.